What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and right now we're going to be talking about what you should be doing right now in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Obviously right now we are in like the last stretch of Madden. All we really have left that most people are looking towards is the golden tickets. If you're new to the stream uh, or you've never been to a video of G Miles World, you guys can need to go check out uh, previous years of what's coming right now. It's going to get really, really crazy within the next couple days. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, you're going to need coins, obviously, and you're going to need to know where the free content is. All right. So that's what we're going to break down right now. Uh, like I said, if you haven't been checking out the streams, search G Myers World, Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and, you know, tune in, see what's going on within the game so you understand more of it. Now, number one, I want you guys to understand what's going on with season five. Many of you guys have been saying, okay, gee, I don't really care about any of these cards. I don't care about, you know, uh, Derek Henry, he sucks. Um, you know, what are we supposed to be doing? This is the primary reason that I'm specifically focusing in on this is to get the season XP for season six and this left tackle right here. As far as J uh, TJ Watt goes, he will never play for me. So, I'll, you know, like it depends. Like if you have a theme team, I want to make sure you guys understand that uh, uh, the theme teams are still going on pretty strong. And some of you guys are like, yo, gee, I really want my theme team to be OP. Um, I know, you know, a lot of you guys are into like the promo theme teams like myself with Super Bowl and stuff like that. But many of you guys are diehard theme team players. And I give you guys a lot of credit because that's just not the way to go, bros. Like right now, the Combine and Super Bowl are killing it. So it's no way possible I can tell you guys like, yo, you need to do this. You need to do this as far as like a regular theme team. So these guys, are, uh, you know, they're of no interest to me, right? All I need is the left tackle. Okay, and I need the collectible. As far as like the other like glitchy packs that you get, like the legendary option pack, you know, legendary strategy pack, that's gonna probably equate to some coins depending on when you get it. But realistically speaking, those are the things that I want. I want the left tackle and I want the XP. Now, as far as milestones go, I do wanna make sure you guys understand, as you guys are starting to upgrade and do a lot of things with your squad, they've made it a little bit more difficult to do this as quickly as we've done in the previous four seasons. They've taken away the ability for us to use the competitive pass to also get XP, which means that we're going to have to focus in on a lot more of the promos because everything is coins. These used to be XP, now they're all coins. All right, so for, for those of you guys that are grinding it, this is the only reason that you should be grinding a competitive pass, strictly for coins. Many of you guys were able to get this card when the first 1,000 and auction it off and you made 2 million plus for his card. I will tell you this, we did get his uh, you know non-auctionable version because no matter what, you get a version of the card. Uh, his non His non-auctionable version that you get is really good. The route tech for one actually works and he plays very well. So I will tell you that this is worth the grind. So if you're looking to try to get a free card that's really good, I would say he's one of them. All right. What did I do? Mutt champs primarily. Okay. And then I had to do a couple solo battles and then I focused in on the milestones. All right. Milestones were very, very key. The field goal part was annoying, but it was worth it because I got a lot of XP out of it. But milestones, solo battles, and mutt champs is how I got them uh, relatively quickly. For those of the guys that got the first thousand, they were just going crazy. They probably more than likely focused in on the milestones and did the solo battle action in order to get all this stuff done. Because there's no other way that you could have logically done it uh, that quickly. But you need to lock in on that if you're looking to get the free cards. And yes, you can do a lot of head-to-head -head seasons and the milestones. It's going to take you a lot longer. But you can do that in order to get that free card. And again, he is worth it. I'll, you know, I'll let you guys see what his numbers look like in a second. Also, as you continue to grind, everything else, the red zone packs, all that stuff is garbage. This is going to be the next one. He's going to be outrageous. Is like the, this guy is super fast. He's wild. Like, dude, he's going to be pretty good. So that's worth it for you to grind it. The last thing as far as grinding goes right now, currently would be the combine. OK, because the combine was very, very simplistic. It was a two part promo. But what did it do? It gave you XP. Any time that you see any XP in any of these future promos, I need you guys to lock in automatically. Just lock in because it's ready to go. And that's ultimately all you need to know. When you see a promo that has the XP, just go and get it done. Don't worry about anything else because they're going to make it so that you have to partake in these promos in order to get additional XP. And if you don't do that, you obviously are not going to get some of those other free packs and things like that that go with your regular mutt level. The days of grinding just the game and doing like objectives in the game all day is done. Everything is capped. And they did that, you know, for a reason to make sure that everybody is close to unlocking the cards at the same time. So grinders are no longer rewarded the same way they were earlier in Madden.
the field pass has pretty much taken that away. So you want to focus in on that. Also, you get a lot of free cards as well. Although this 93 plus overall B and D is a B and D and it's not auctionable, you can pull the highest cards out of it, depending on when you pulled it. So I would focus in on that, getting all your XP through that. All right. Now that's pretty much primarily all with the grinding. All the other things that are going on don't really matter. The Genki Force, all that stuff, that's pretty much done. If you didn't do it, it's a wrap. This is what I need to know from all of you guys right now. Have you listened to the videos and have you made sure, right, that you have all your team of the week done? If you have this done, they're doing a special stream this Thursday, March, uh, I think it's March 6th or 7th. Uh, I got to double check and get back to you guys where they're going to be announcing team of the week. Now, if you've done all of this, you're going to get a free team of the week player, more than likely a 97 or a 98. Yes, it should be auctionable. It always is auctionable. One of the catch 22s though, if you don't get this done immediately, you may have issues with finalizing it at the end. What that means is EA Sports has a way of making you get booted off the server when you're trying to get all of them done at the same time. I will urge you, as of watching this video, if you have not done it, get all those collectibles done. And I wanna also verify that the collectibles look a certain way. Like you may not be able to, um, you know, understand what's going on as far as like, yo, gee, why does it look like this? Why does it look like that? But this is the thing right here. Where's team of the week? Do we have team of the week right here? Um, it's gonna say team of the year on it, all right? But it's, but it's a team of the week solos because it's always been done like that. You get the team of the year player way after the season is over, but it's just a grind throughout the season. So I've actually received this question. Yo, G, what's the difference between team of the week and team of the year? There is no difference. You just get that. You just get a card that says team of the year. And yes, there is no set yet available for it. They've always done it like that. They will release the set when the cards are ready. And yes, there will be different variations of the type of cards you can get. Offense, defense, special teams, things like that will be a part of it. So you need to get this done and you need to have all of them. I want to know in the comments right now, how many of you guys have all of these? I mean, every single one, you know what I'm saying? So six, okay, what is that? 18, I have 19. How many do you have? All right, like, let me know much because I, I don't know why I have 19. Isn't it only 18 weeks in the season now? I don't know, dude, but that's what I have. How many do you have? Write it in the comments. And then finally, I know some of you guys are like, yo, G, does it make sense to grind? For Justin Jefferson. Let me go ahead and finalize the video by letting you guys see what I have on him. All right. Zero AP third down threat. Remember, this is the non auctionable one. If you were one of the grinders that got the first thousand, yours is different and you have more zero AP abilities, I believe. Route technician for one. That's all I'm going to really show you right there. All right. Look at his numbers though 92 Excel with this with the uh, strat card, 98 speed. You need to go grind for this card and you need to do it quickly. All right, because he's going to change the game for you and it's going to make the game a little bit easier to deal with. I promise you that. So go ahead, get that done. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.